Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another Lego unboxing and speed build video. Today's video, we got the retro camera. Let's get it started. Okay, so retro camera, if you're a photographer of any kind, this is sort of a must. I'm just, just saying, even if you're not a Lego person, if you're a photographer having this, it's nice. Um, I actually wish they'd do more camera uh, style Lego, but uh, this is basically a three in one. This is set number 31147. Um, you basically have a camera, TV, and a camcorder. Uh, I personally am gonna go for the camera. Uh, as a YouTuber, the camcorder would fit as well, but I, I want the camera. So yeah, this is um, 261 pieces. Not a bad piece count. Shouldn't be uh, a crazy long build, but uh, that's interesting. <laughs> that is so cool. They're using a wheel as the lens. I guarantee that's what that is. Guarantee it. All right, what do we got? We got, we got the TV instructions. We have the camcorder instructions. And we have the camera. I will say this, the camera instructions is definitely by far the thickest and it looks like we actually have some uh, film strips, which I think is cool. Uh, I really dig the motorcycle. Uh, and I like the fact that these are Legos, um, which check this out. This is like the new giraffe. There's the retro skate. Uh, got a Volkswagen. So yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. How many bags we got? Looks like we got three bags. So let's, uh, let's sort of take a look at the instructions here. Again, I don't know if this is a trend with Lego or if this is something with the creator sets. They are no bag numbers. It's literally dump out the bags. Uh, I find that very, very interesting. So that's what we're gonna do. I am going to get all the parts out. We'll get them nulled um, and uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get the parts out. All right, everybody, so got all the parts, got all the bags open, got the parts out. Um, got this little box here. That is the film roll. Oh, that's cool. That's actually pretty cool right there. I may actually leave that instead of using stickers. I actually sort of like that a little better. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be so much fun. This is gonna be a blast to build. I'm really, really looking looking forward to this one. So uh, yeah, we'll get a, a few little pieces going, then we'll uh, kick it over to a time lapse. But let's look here. Is it calling for, okay. So we need three and threes. Let's look here a minute. So that's over three, that's over three. Does that one fit there? Yeah, that one does fit there. Yay. Need a, um, need a couple of more pieces over here. It is so important. Uh, well, I say important. I think, I think personally it is that when you take all your pieces and you null them out, it makes the process go a little better. Um, but it just, it just makes things, I think, flow helps it, it helps me in other words 
It, it may not be the same for, uh, for each of you, but for me, it actually uh, is very, very uh, fundamentally important to uh, get these things laid out. Where's my little, oh, there's my little squares. That's another thing that's weird about doing this without bag numbers is when everything's out, <laughs> you're just like, where is everything? So sometimes that part, having that structure of bag numbers is actually pretty, pretty cool. But also it is what it is. All right. So I bet this is gonna give me the overall idea of the length of this camera, which eh, that's, that's not gonna be too bad. It's not gonna be too bad at all. Need a six. We need a two. Where's my twos? There's my twos. Need two of these red thingies. Where'd they go? I saw them a minute ago right there. Need two of those. And we need a blue one right there. Okay. And, but yeah, the, um, I, I really do, I appreciate Legos and, and pretty much any kind of building uh, blocks. They're, they're very, very therapeutic. They, they relax me, which I value a lot. So, uh, yeah. So it looks like we need one of these here. Then this one's going to go here. No, something ain't right. Hang on, I may have already made a a a, a, a slight error in commute because uh, this this is supposed to go here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. My bad. Goes over the red. Now that works. Now we're cooking with Crisco. I just literally put it right back in the same spot. <laughs> Okay, and we got another blue one here. I really dig these uh, these blue ones. These blue ones are actually really uh, aqua, I guess, or yeah, it's actually a pretty uh, pretty nice color. All right, need one of these. We need two of these bad boys. We need another blue, another blue. That's going there, there, and then there. Probably would have been beneficial to put that there first. All right, we need two more of these squares. I need this crazy, that crazy piece right there. Yup, that's it. It's going to go. Does that go like that? Like that. And then that there and that there. Nice. And one more blue. I need four. Four of. Where'd they go? There they are. Need four of these bad boys. And as you can see, the this whole process actually um, works pretty good as far as you know nulling and, and things like that. Because at least it gets all the pieces in the same spot or, or the same area. You get all of them lined up, and it just makes life so much better. I wonder if that's the uh, the viewfinder. <laughs> as as I'm building this, I'm trying to uh, I'm tr just trying to figure out where where what is and what's what, and so it's uh, very very interesting to me. Hang on a minute, I don't need you there. I already got you in there. Let go, let go. There we go. Get you back in there. All right. OK. 
Okay, boom, boom, boom. You go right there, and you go right there, and then you go right here, and you go right there. Voila. We're getting there. Four of these. Two, three, four. Okay. One right there. Then one right here. One right here. And another one right there. All right, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right, I need two of these. Right there, on there. All right, I tell you what, I think now uh, we've uh, got this process going. So yeah, let's start the time lapse. We're done retro camera 31147 look at this thing this is cool i mean this was a fun fun build uh especially when i realized this was the strap <laughs> uh but yeah we've got uh functionality things move i mean this is this is this was fun i mean it literally I mean, I can see through the uh, the lens there. So in retrospect, I mean, it looks like a small a small camera. Um, got the a working door right there. We got our, our film strip. So you you can actually build two film strips. Uh, that's my first one. It's a little bit more motorcycles, uh, skates, and uh, the VW. And then the other one was the animals. Uh, it actually called to mix it up, but no, I didn't want to mix it up. But uh, yeah, there's the uh, the inside. You just drop it in, boom. Let's see. I haven't tried the I haven't tried the wrist strap yet. <laughs> this this was fun. This is this was a fun little uh, fun little build. I'm definitely gonna be putting this up with my other cameras that I have upstairs. Um, the fact that you can rotate the wheel like you can simulate zooming, which is which is fun. You got your shutter button, got the uh, advance, the film advance, and then you have the film rewind. So uh, then you actually have a, a button back here. So, but yeah, check it out. I'm taking your picture. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, hope you enjoyed this build. Uh, like I said, the creator, the creator set is, uh, I really like the creator sets, but this one here, this, uh, this, this got me and it does look like a Canon camera, just saying. But, uh, if you're like, like I said earlier, if you're a photographer and you can't appreciate this, uh, I don't know what to tell you because this is actually really, really cool. Um, if I had to say one thing. I think it would have been cool to have some black panels here, uh, the, the flat panels. If I find some, I may go ahead and buy them and put them on mine. But instead of the uh, the pegs, if this was covered up with uh, you know something smooth, I think that would have been really cool. And also here on the back, uh, I think would have been a nice, a nice little touch of finishing. So you still want it to sort of look like a Lego, but parts of me is like, you know, you've got all this finished right here and, and right here you still have the pegs, which gives you some texture, you know, lets you hold on to it. But parts of me wants to finish this out with the, uh, the flat panel. So I'm going to see if I can find some and uh, 
finish it up that way. But yeah, very, very cool build. Uh, I, I highly recommend it. Right there, boom. And like I said, you got a nice little display. You can put some film there. And uh, But yeah, you guys let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you picked up the retro camera, 31147. Um, and which one did you build? Are you going to build the camera, the TV, or the camcorder? So uh, you got options. But parts of me is thinking, uh, I, need a, I need a tripod. Yeah. Yeah, I need a tripod. That would be cool. Be a cool display, you know, if you could actually put it like on a, a, a tripod, a little small tripod. May have to figure out how to build one of those, but maybe I can 3D print something. But yeah, let me know what you think. Also, if this is your first time on my channel, if you enjoy watching me build Legos or do toy reviews or whatever else, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. If you're returning to my channel and have not subscribed, come on. Hit that subscribe button as well. If you want to reach out to me via social media or anything like that, click on more in the description. Links to all of my social medias there. I'm all over the interwebs. And finally, please, always remember, building Legos refreshes your soul. And I'll see you next time.